Hey, what's up, guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Check the description for all my information. Join the Discord. Follow me on GitHub. Trying to build a community here. I do these problems all the time. I put a lot of work into this. If you can support me on Patreon, I really appreciate that as well. I do the premium problems there. This question is reorder list. This is a link list question. It is medium level. A lot of people like it. Um, I would say this involves a culmination of a bunch of other linked list problems. So I'd say check out those before specifically, you want to know how to reverse a linked list and, um, you know, merge linked lists, odd, even linked list, and maybe a uh, reverse or good tutorials I have on my page before you do these. So this one is given a singly linked list. You're just given a regular list. So for example, one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, five nodes with these values, of course, the nodes looking like this with a value in the next node. There's no previous. Uh, so given a regular linked list, we want to reorder it so that the list looks like this. And this pattern is basically first node, then last node, then second node, then second last node then third node, then third last node. Um, so that's what they want the reordering of the list to be. So for example, you know, when you see one, two, three, four, it's going to be first node, then last node, second node, second last node. So one, four, two, three, or in this case, first node, last node, second node, second last node, um, third node, right? So for, you know, one, five, two, four, three. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. It's almost like two pointers if you're going towards the middle, but you, we don't have two pointers in this case. This is a linked list. So two pointers works for an array, but in linked list, we don't have access to the indices. So we only, we have to start at the head and we have to figure this out somehow. Um, it isn't insanely hard, but it, it's a little bit tricky. I would say, I mean, this is a little bit of a complicated problem. Like I said, it involves the solutions to other ones. So here's the strategy. Let's say we have a list like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do seven, eight. So let's say this is our linked list, right? And I'll add these arrows just to make it nice and neat for you guys. So here's our linked list, one through eight. And what we want is, of course, you know, this, what do, what do we want our output to be? Well, we want our output to be, um, one eight, you know, two seven, um, three six four, right? This is what we really want. Our um, five, sorry, four or five. This is this is what we would want our output to be. So how do we achieve this? Here's the idea: you take your input array or input, sorry. You take your input linked list and um, you want to get to the middle of it. So we're going to split it up. We're going to get to the middle of the list and make separate the lists. So we're going to go to the middle and we're going to separate it into two separate linked lists. So now it looks like this. We separated them, right? One through eight turned into one, two, three, four and five, six, seven, eight. Now we just make... Uh, Com com go through the lists and make it so that it goes one then um no 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 no, no. then we want to reverse the second half so we reverse the second half and it looks like this eight seven six five boom now once we did that we can go through and we can go one eight two seven three six four five boom construct our new length list so you go to the halfway point separate it into two lists reverse the second half and then you could just go bang back and forth and construct your new list um you know my dogs were barking in the background so it threw me off a little bit so hopefully that doesn't show up in this video audio or whatever but uh let's just keep going as if it's not happening so here we go we're head if head is null or head is uh head on x is null then we've got nothing to construct there's really no list here to change right there's no re list to be reordered now here's what we need to do we need to create a slow this is in another video we did slow is equal to head list node fast is equal to head um, and then we need a previous node prev is equal to null and this is just how we get 
to the middle of the list. So while fast is not equal to null, fast.next is not equal to null, we will be doing uh, prev is equal to slow, slow is equal to slow.next, and fast is equal to fast.next.next. .next. And this works because fast is going twice as fast, so by the time fast gets to the end and the loop breaks out, slow will be in the middle. Okay, so we use previous as the tail of the first half of the list, and we use slow as the head of the second half of the list, and fast will be the tail of the second half of the list. Only thing we need is the, a reference to the head of the first half. So all of this together is this is the head of the... We, bl we split the list into two now. All we have to do is prev.next is equal to null. This splits the list into two because prev at the end, you know, if we were going one, two, three, four, you know, prev would be node value of two. Slow L1 would be one, prev would be two, slow would be three, fast would be four in this case. So we just set prev.next to null and then we have our two separate linked lists. Hopefully this makes sense. I'd say watch the other videos though, because uh, you gotta understand this is getting us to the middle and separating the lists. And now we have reference, you know, head of first half, of first half, head of second half, head, I mean tail of second half, tail of first half. This is how the lists are separated. Okay, I think we understand now. Now what we need to do is get a uh, reverse the second half, like I explained at the beginning. So we reverse the second half by passing in the head. And this is another problem we already did. So we do public list node reverse takes in list node head. This is, uh, you could find this in reverse linked list. I'm just gonna blow through it really quick. This is just how you reverse a linked list. You set prev to null. You set current node to head. While current node not equal to null. You get reference to the head, no the next node. So you say list node next node is equal to current node not next. Now you set the next node, current node dot next is equal to prev, it's to the previous node, that's the reversal part. And then you just gotta say um, prev equals uh, current node. And then we have this reference, we get this reference to next node before we set current node dot next below because you know we lose the reference here, we're setting it to prev. So we gotta get this variable next node so that we can say current node equals next node and keep moving along the list and reversing it. And by the end of it, we'll be current node will be equal to null. So this is the end the end of the list, return prev, which is the head, because we want to we reversed it. So there you go, we have our method. So we now, this reversed the second half. So now we have the, we're gonna make this method called merge where we merge L1 and L2. Because like I said, L1 is the head of the first half of the list. We split it into halves, L1's the first half. And L2 is the head of the second half, which is now reversed. So now we just have to go back and forth. L1 for L one of L1's nodes, then one of L2's nodes. One of L1's nodes, then one of L2 nodes. Uh, so we just make this method public void merge where we take in list node L1, list node L2, and we just say, okay, we get the reference. We, well, first of all, we have to make sure L1 is not equal to null. So we'll say, well, L1 is not equal to null. We do this because otherwise we'll be done with merging. This is This condition has to be, you know, there, you're, there's nothing to merge if L1 is null, you know? So, okay, list node um, next, L1 next is equal to L1.next. So we get reference to L2 next and L1 next. So the next nodes of each of the lists. And what do we do? Well, we set, and this, these are used, we get these so that we can move through the lists and traverse them, uh, the linked lists. So now we could say L1.next is equal to L2, boom. So that would be, you know, setting um, the next node, you know, we split it in half and one of the halves is reversed. 
So it would say we'd have the right first, we'd have the head of the first half of the list, then we'd put the head of the re- second half that is reversed, which is exactly what we wanted to do when I showed it at the beginning. Now we just got to make sure um, the next node is not null. If l1.next is null, then we're done. So we can just break out of the loop at that point. That's the end of it. Um, besides that, we do l2.next is equal to l1.next because we already updated l1.next. So we need to, we make, you know, now the second list next has to point to the next node of l1 you know and uh, that's why we have these references and then we just move along the list so we just say l1 equals l1 dot l1 next and l2 equals l2 next so this is a lot to unpack here um i think it should run and be fine there we go so it worked out um let me know if you guys have any questions i know it's a long one so it is kind of difficult to go over all in one video especially without like whiteboarding and stuff um basically i could go over it one more time really quick so four five six so this is let's say this is our starting list we th- we uh we start off we get to the middle so we have and then we split it right so we split it right here and now they're two separate lists right then we reverse this list so one two three four five six um sorry one two three four five six becomes um six sorry four five six becomes six five four so we reverse this half of the list now and then we merge them and when we merge them you just pass in the head so you pass in one and six into this merge method right and when we merge them, we do, okay, we get the next nodes of each of them, so two and five. And then we say, okay, one dot next is six, right? Exactly like we, what we want. And then L2 dot next, six dot next is one, or uh, two, sorry about that. Six dot next is two. And then you move along the list and eventually they merge. And then it becomes at the end of it, it becomes exactly what we want. One, six, two, five, three, four. So let me know if you guys have any questions about that. You could check out maybe descriptions on here. I think I explained it though. It's pretty straightforward if you did the other problems. So check out the other problems. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry about my dogs barking. Sorry if there was a little bit of shade. I, it didn't feel 100% perfect, but I don't want to do this again. It's kind of a long video. So just message me and I'll explain anything you want me to. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next